Now, there are some truly terrible games on Steam. I think we like to believe that Gabe sits at his PC and personally checks everything that goes on to Steam, if only that were remotely true. So today, I want to find the worst game that Steam has to offer. Now, I just want to mention that I'm not out here just attacking people's hard work for no reason. I did nearly two years of game design at uni, so I know how hard it is to make a game. All the games I made were disgusting, broken messes of code that got me the lowest possible passing grade and they were all fucking disastrous because I can't code for shit. So if anything on Steam is of the same quality, only it's being sold for actual money, then it instantly qualifies to be looked at. So the game I've gone for is called The Golden Cross. It's basically Tomb Raider if it was a text-to-speech visual novel. It follows a character called Samantha Cooper while she tracks down ancient maps that were clearly drawn in paint, leading to a treasure called The Golden Cross of Santa Maria. I can hardly believe my eyes. The cross is extraordinary. I better grab it. Along the way, she has to save her father and stop people with nefarious plans. I intend to recover it and donate it to the church. So the only reviews I saw for this game read better than cyberpunk, this is the greatest VR chat story of all time, and a disaster artist level game. So that might give you some idea of what the game is like. On top of that, it's quite expensive at just over £5 and it's definitely not worth that. If it was one of those 79p games, then maybe, but five pounds? Doesn't matter in this case anyway, because I paid for it selling Steam cards and CSGO cases, but it's not worth five pounds of actual money. That's because this game has a pretty massive issue early on, the entire first stage. This game actually has 30 levels worth of content, but the first level is so infuriating, you'll likely give up before playing the rest of the game. However, I can't base an entire game on one level Level, so I played another eight hours, got to stage 25, accidentally pressed new game, couldn't fathom playing it all over again, and uh, left it there. However, what is the rest of the game actually like? Bad. First thing you might notice is the cutscenes. Well, shoot the kid. <laughs> Jesus, you shot him. Now this may sound bad enough. But in the later stages, it becomes even more broken, with the wrong voice coming out of the wrong character. That jackass. Well, he's an expert on Spanish history and might be able to tell us something about the Golden Cross of Santa Maria. And there's even an instance of some actual voice acting. Ten gold coins for the poor. I'll give you what I can. Reminds me of those beggars in Oblivion that had different voices for each question. Well, since I'm this far, I may as well have a look. I'm only asking for enough to feed my kids. I'll give you what I can. Thank you, kind sir. And keep in mind, this game has 30 stages. Most of them are just text-to-speech cutscenes. I mean, it is a visual novel, so it's hardly surprising why it's like this. However, Steam says there are a host of characters, which is true, but they all sound the same because they all use text-to-speech. So technically, yes, there are a host of characters, but if you remember any of them, I'd be, I'd be very impressed. To be honest, I think even the most hardcore visual novel fans wouldn't be able to endure 10 hours of Microsoft Sam. Do you happen to know the deceased? Henry, right? God, not Henry. Now you can make the argument that voice actors are expensive and they didn't have them available. Fine, but eventually the cutscenes just stopped working anyway. Almost all of the audio was cut off at the end of every sentence. Some scenes were so loud they nearly burst my eardrums, I got stuck in a wall. The instructions from puzzles would appear on the screen during a cutscene, and it reached a point where my character just wasn't even showing up during cutscenes. Well, the two of you are lucky. What do you mean? Admittedly, this does result in some very funny cutscenes, because you can actively control the character all the time. Pleased to meet you, Miss Cooper. The pleasure's all mine. Anytime you see my character spinning, it's basically me being bored as fuck messing with the analog sticks. It's also hilarious when people get shot. hold guns in the most broken fashion, watching a woman walk into a wall for 25 minutes while I fail to do a puzzle, and see a dead body move slightly as if it's still alive. Some other broken events were pushing a man into an elevator, which then closed on my legs, 
glitching inside cars, falling off the map, purposely finding gaps in the map and effortlessly falling off the map again, entire areas of stuff not loading in, and at one point my character glitched into the ground and would stay there until I turned the game off and on again. It's just phenomenally broken. The next thing to mention is the controls, because you can only walk forward in this game, no left, right or backwards, so your character relies on turning the analogue stick to see, except it takes 16 seconds for your character to turn 360 degrees because the sensitivity is so low. And no, you cannot change this, I looked. Trust me, the only options there are audio settings, graphic settings, and subtitles. The other controls are R2 to crouch, pressing the left stick will run, pressing the right stick will jump, and remember that you can jump from any position. You can achieve a 10 foot jump from your hands and knees and land right back on your hands and knees. However, the jump height varies wildly, and at one point I jumped so high I died from the full damage. Oh, and it's X plus A to pick things up. That sculpture's in good shape. I should pick it up. Unless it's gold items, which are picked up automatically no matter how fast you run past them. I actually had a lot of fun when I realised this, so the way I did it got increasingly more violent and broken. I went from simply picking them up, to running and breaking my back, to running and jumping and crouching, which caused this. Holy Jesus. What is that? What the fuck is that? So it should come as no surprise that the controls are terrible and don't work very well and you spend your time getting fucked sideways by traps that are hard to avoid, have horrible physics or just don't appear to begin with. Although it's fine because in later levels, the traps that once one shot you do no damage and it becomes impossible for them to kill you. However, there are more than just traps in this game. There are three types of enemies, knights, spiders, and cobras. The cobras function okay, I suppose. They still one-bang you. The knights have swords that also one-bang you. They're easy to avoid, but they can and will hit you from 100 feet away. However, the spiders are the most fucked because I'm not even sure they can hurt you. To beat them, you simply jump at them and they spin in circles endlessly and never stop. However, to this game's credit, the thing it advertises on Steam is the puzzles, and the puzzles are actually quite good. They work fine, and there's nothing wrong with them. To be fair, there's a wide variety of puzzles in this game. Sliding puzzles, chess puzzles, Tower of Hanoi puzzles. The only problem is the entire rest of the game, and how much shit you have to go through to reach them. Oh, and one final thing, not really sure where it fits in with everything else, but the scoring system either goes up or down by 25,000 points at a time. I got bored, killed myself over and over, and then reached minus 740,000 points. So make of that what you will. Anyway, so that was the Golden Cross. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.